Once again we bring you the romance of Helen Trent, who sets out to prove that just because a woman is 35 or more, romance in life need not be dead. Oh, I hope not! Good afternoon, Miss Hannigan. Uh, what's the matter? Warbucks fed up with Annie already? On the contrary. Um, Miss Hannigan, this has to be signed and sent back to the Board of Orphans no later than 10 o'clock tomorrow. What for? Well, because Mr. Warbucks is so taken with Annie, he's decided to adopt her. Annie? The daughter of a millionaire? The daughter of a billionaire. Would you excuse me for just, just a moment, please? <coughs> Got any more wonderful news? Merry Christmas, Miss Hannigan. Oh. Pardon me, Blondie. Hi, hey, sis. Long time no see. Rooster, they finally let you out of prison, huh? What were you in for this time? Some old geezer said I swindled him at 1,100 bucks. Why do you say that? Because the rooster swindled him out of 1,100 bucks. <laughs> oh, sis. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine from... Joysy City. The name's Lily St. Regis. Like the hotel. Oh, yeah? What floor? <laughs> Rooster, do me a favor and get out of here. So, who was that blonde chick I bumped into when she came in? She looked like she had a couple of dollars. She works for Oliver Warbucks. The Oliver Warbucks? Annie, one of the orphans from here, is getting adopted by him. Ugh, oh, crummy orphan. Yeah, living in the lap of luxury while the two Hannigan kids ended up on the skids. It ain't fair how we scrounge for three or four bucks while she gets war bucks. The little brat. It ain't fair this year life is driving me nuts. While we get peanuts, she's living fat. Maybe she holds the key, that little lady, to get more bucks instead of less. Maybe we fix the game with something shady. Where does that put us? Give you one guess. Yes! yes. Street. 